Hello, I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of color. So my aim with this channel is to basically navigate the products that are available that really were designed for Caucasian skin um, and to tell you which ones are really best for skin of color by looking at the ingredients list and breaking it all down for you. So today's video, we will be reviewing La Roche-Posay Effaclair, which a lot of people have asked me for. So this is basically their acne range. Okay, so starting off with their first product, which is a micropeeling purifying gel. So the positives are that it's got sodium laureth sulfate in it as opposed to sodium laurel sulfate, which basically means it's milder, um, it's less irritating for the skin, so this is good. It's got a second booster called Cocomido Propyl Betaine, um, and it, that's what gives that lathering effect. It's a very satisfying feeling, which is why it tends to get positive reviews. If it's manufactured poorly, um, then it can lead to impurities, but it, I mean, this is quite rare and it's unlikely to be happening with La Roche-Posay. It's also got zinc gluconate in it, which is an effective anti-inflammatory and can help to reduce the number of acne lesions. It's also got 2% salicylic acid, which is basically standard because what that does is it goes into the pore, it unclogs the pore and it prevents new lesions from taking place. It's not going to affect sebum production and it's not an antibacterial. It's purely to prevent further lesions from forming. So I'm a cosmetic formulator and if I was to formulate this product I would have added niacinamide to it in order to control the sebum levels and I probably would have added an antimicrobial too in order to get maximum effect from one product. The downside of this product is that they decided to add menthol. I have no idea why they did this. Menthol is a sensitizing agent. So in fact, it can make your skin oilier and lead to more breakouts. But I think that, I think the reason they did this is because that minty flavor and that minty smell makes you think that you're cleaning better and that you're doing a better job of scrubbing your skin when actually you're leading to more irritation. So my verdict on this product is it's okay. Um, I would have preferred a simple 2% salicylic acid wash without any sensitizing agents. So the next product is their foaming gel, Effaclair foaming gel. Now with this product, um, the good points are that it's sodium laureth sulfate. They've got coca betaine in it too. The downside is that they added perfume. And I have no idea why you would add fragrance to skin that is inflamed. So don't forget, when you have acne skin, there's inflammation taking place. There are free, fat, free fatty acids that are being released that leads to inflammation on the skin. That's what's re leading to the redness um, and sometimes sensitive skin and then pigmentation later in the skin of color. So in this scenario, you would never want to add a an ingredient that's going to further irritate the skin. I'm just really confused to be honest because when you look at the website it clearly says at the top fragrance free and then if you look at the fine print of the ingredients list it says fragrance. I don't I actually don't even know how they're getting away with that to be honest. I mean you just need to go and look at the ingredients list it's clearly written on their website fragrance or perfume. So confusing. Okay, so the next product is their astringent toner. So it's uh, called Effaclair Astringent Lotion Toner. I would say avoid this one completely. The second ingredient is denatured alcohol. Now, the reason they put it in the product is because when you put denatured alcohol to the skin, when it evaporates, it gives you the squeaky clean feeling. And when you have oily skin, that's almost the thing that you're craving. And so you think you're doing a good thing by squeaking the oil off your face. The problem is that you're starting an inflammatory cascade. So even once that alcohol is evaporated, which will happen within seconds, you have an inflammatory process taking place in the skin that will continue to damage the skin 
for hours. This is the same reason that science today tells you not to use alcohol on an open wound. This is something they used to do a long time ago because they thought that was the correct thing to do. They were killing bacteria, but we don't do this now. Why? The reason is that it delays healing. It actually damages the tissue. So I would always look at the back of any product to make sure it doesn't have denatured alcohol in it. And this one has it as the second ingredient. That means that it's at a high percentage. Oh, and just to top it off, in case you're thinking of purchasing that product, they went and added perfume. So now you've opened up the skin and now you're adding the number one cause of contact dermatitis, which is perfume. I mean, it's a cocktail for skin issues and it's just like, it's a, it's a bit of a disaster waiting to happen. So I would say avoid this particular product. The next product in this series is their micellar water. Um, it's nothing special and it's actually quite pricey for what it is it's got paloxima 184 in it so this is basically a synthetic polymer where you have the oil loving part in the middle and the water loving part around it forming almost like a bubble so you basically pour this onto a cotton pad so that the water loving part is attracted to the cotton pad and the oil loving part is exposed you then place this on your skin and this will attract the oil dirt, oil-based dirt in the skin. I am a fan of micellar water and I use it in my own skincare routine. If you want to watch my skincare routine, I've done a video called Winter Skincare Routine where I literally show you step by step what I do. Um, however, this particular product has got perfume in it, which doesn't, it, I mean, it's completely unnecessary to add any fragrance to this. And lastly is the mattifying face moisturizer. And I actually think this is their worst product. I'm so sorry. I just feel like you're going to be writing in the comment section. Dr. V, can you just like stop saying negative things about products and brands? But I am, I just feel like if I stick with the ingredients and I stick with the science and I just teach what is in a product, hopefully there's not going to be too much backlash. But this particular product, I mean, it's got... The fourth ingredient is isocetyl stearate, which is very commodogenic, which means it leads to acne. And this is in the acne range. And being the fourth ingredient means that it's probably at about 5%. And then the fifth ingredient was denatured alcohol. I mean, denatured alcohol will lead to inflammation on normal skin, let alone inflamed acne skin. So again, I have no idea why they did this. And just to top it off, can you guess? Yes, they added perfume in it. So they added fragrance, which is likely to irritate the skin, especially on skin that's already inflamed, and especially once you've opened up that skin with the denatured alcohol. So this would be the absolute last product that I would purchase. Um, this is just for the Effaclair. I, maybe their other ranges are better, I don't know, but I really wanted to do justice on one set at a time because sometimes just doing the best sellers might not include the product that you've got. So it's taking me a little bit longer to do it, but um, I just hope that it's helpful to you and it's I'm giving you the information that you want. If this is helpful, can you just write the word, write the word yes below for me just so that I know I'm on the right tracks for you. Don't forget to download your free insider's guide for skincare for skin of color, which the link again is below. And uh, you can follow us on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic so you can see all my before and afters on there. And if you've got any questions or any videos you want me to make or any, or any brands you want me to review, please also can you write it below for me and you know I will do my best to make it for you. Thank you very much.